game. I I know how it works. Hi there. Wow. Okay, maybe we can take a step. <laughs> My name is Kiyu. Nice to meet you. holding it together over there. Psh, that's a fat load of shit and you know it. Oh god, did you just say that? Is this happening? Hmm, wait. You know what? This might actually work. Yeah, yeah! Oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy! Listen, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Chill out for a second. You'll be glad I showed up. Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. I'm glad you asked. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just mm, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You, though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. You and all the questions. Can't a fairy just help a brother out? We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? Oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? Alright, grab your shit. We're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. See? Easy! Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, Blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh, right. Let me cover the other token types real quick. 
The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? All right, all right, I've gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology, the Honey Bee 4.0. The Honey Bee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits, it's awesome! We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access the honeybee, all you have to do is right-click at pretty much any time. Or, if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. Go ahead, break that bad boy open. here. Now if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Good 
choice, rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. All right, ready? Get your game face on. Oh, Miss Yumi, I'm glad I ran into you. Have you had a chance to grade our exams yet? Uh, remind me what that was on again? You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think those are on my desk. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? Later. Next week, probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. I don't know, I was having trouble with some of the material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Next week? I don't know yet. Actually, I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, please? Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. Whoa, is this chick serious? That schoolgirl uniform is a little on the nose, don't you think? She's cute, though. Blonde, too, so... Uh... Bonus points! Oh yeah, don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Plot twist! <laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sidelines. This is your classic girl next door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. But don't be afraid to take a chance. I sure do. I know this place inside and out. You go past the building here and take a left at the fountain. You can't miss it. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you starting this semester? <laughs> Come on, give me a break. Stop teasing me. Yeah, I'd love that. It's really a beautiful campus too. My name is Tiffany, by the way. It's nice to meet you. You seem like a cool guy. Hopefully I'll see you around campus. No way! You did it! Well, with my help, of course. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago? Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her, too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get them. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. going? It's...
talk about that mm, well I think I have just the thing I'm headed to the beach to work in a few poses you should join me nothing like a little exercise to melt that stress away uh, not today I'm just not feeling it will I at least be seeing you this weekend at the studio I'll be there I don't think I have anything else going on for once great can't wait see you there dude bro Asian chicks? Don't even get me started. I have like the worst case of yellow fever ever. Ever. Like a yellow plague. This is a tough approach. She's kind of in a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what. The stupider, the better. <laughs> I ask myself the same thing all the time. Oh, I look like a mess right now. I'm sure my hair is a disaster. I'm just trying to relax, enjoy a little downtime between classes. I teach up at UOG. You know the place? It's like the only university in the city for some reason. I don't know about that. I have a couple students who might agree with you, though. <laughs> I'm glad you came over here. I needed a good laugh. The kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. Yes? If I had to pick, I'd probably say Autumn. I'm a sucker for all the colors.
God, you are so racist. <laughs> the university professor thing? Let me ask. What's your kill count? Huh? How many notches you've got on that old belt? <laughs> you wish! some of this for a salad later. something. Let's see. Longest relationship you've ever had? Boring. Let's find out if you've actually been listening to me. Please tell me you know what I do for a living. Well, I'll be damned. You got it. Something I can help you with? Gambling! You, sir, have got yourself a date. this a couple times, so try not to kill me, okay? Yeah. 
this isn't your first time around the block, 